Hello guys, this is Photon Blaze here with another video, and I want to do a Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire discussion. Man, these games. Wow. Just wow. Hoenn confirmed. I'm going insane. <laughs> Alright, anyway, um Yeah, I'm gonna do a little discussion, so kinda like a FAQ, QA kind of thing. And yeah, I have a list of questions and things. So, um, start off. You know, this game is coming November 2014, and X and Y released on a Saturday. So, will this game also be be released on a Saturday, like November 22nd? I'm gonna say no. I just that's not really. It just wouldn't. That just doesn't make sense. So, I just don't see that happening. Will secret bases return? And what about contests? Yes, I think Secret Bases and Contests will return, and I think that Secret Bases in 3D would be awesome, and they need to add more items for Secret Base. As for Contests, I think that Trainer Customization, if it indeed does return, could affect Contests. You know, that could affect your score, or something, you know, for Contests. That would be very, very cool. I would like that. Will Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire run on the X and Y engine? I believe this is true. Um, it will run on XY engine, um, and also, you know, you know, um, on X and Y we have leaked um, the Mega Latios Latios um, thing, and it's on XY engine. But what if I told you that that was actually intended for a Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, but the games are somehow connected? And that could support my theory of the X and Y engine on Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So, yeah. Will diving return? Yes. It has to. There is no way it won't. And, you know, water has been looking amazing in some of these 3DS games. I, it would just look amazing underwater. You know, all these underwater levels and stuff. I'd love it. It would look amazing. And it would be amazing. Like, you know, hold on to... A, you know, Lapras or something as you swim down or something. That'd be so cool. I mean, really. Um, I'd also like to point out that the financial report on Nintendo of Japan's website proves that it it's a remake instead of a new world. Like, you know, this isn't Kalos, but like, I don't know. But, you know, some that new world kind of thing confused people. But it's just, it's, a, it's just a remake. Anyway, um, will Mega Evolution come back? PSS, Pokemon and Me, Super Training. I think Mega Evolution will possibly come back. However, the Pokemon X and Y website claims that Mega Evolutions are only in Kalos. So I don't know what that could mean for um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Um, but the PSS has to return, totally. Um, Pokemon and Me, definitely. Super Training, possibly. So there's this theory going around that, okay, Fire Red and Leaf Green had that wireless adapter, I believe. Is that what that what thing was? And Heart Goes of Silver had the Pokewalker. So what item do you think will be included in, you know, the new games? I don't honestly think there will be an item. But if there is, I would like to have a portable secret base. It's kind of like the Pokewalker. You go around, like, just like the Pokewalker. Duh. Uh, and you find stuff for your secret base. That would be really cool. I, I like that. Will we get um, additional Mega Evolutions? Yeah, I want to say yes. You know, um, I'll talk about me this Mega Groudon Kyogre thing later, but um, or maybe here shortly. But anyway, <laughs> um, you know, we'll probably get some more Hoenn Mega Evolutions. Definitely a Mega Swampert, which has to happen because Swampert is the bomb, and Mega Skeptile. Will roller skates return? I am actually sadly going to have to say probably no to this. Um, just because that just seems kind of like a one-time thing. I don't know, it just, uh, it just seems like, you know, something's only going to happen in X and Y, only in Kalos. I just don't see it returning. Will Sky Battles return? What about Hordes? And could you possibly do a Sky Battle with Winona? I want to say yes, Sky Battles will return and so will Hordes, you know? Um, when double battles were introduced, did they stay in the games? Heck yeah, they did. So, I don't see why Sky Battles and Hordes would not return. 
Uh, Sky Battle with Winona would be very, very cool. I mean, like, imagine just, you know, the st the gym, like, opens up into, like, a, you know, maybe, like, Faulkner's gym or something. It'd be very cool. Um, I like that. So, yeah, it'd be very cool. Um, will PR videos return? Um, I'm actually gonna say no to that, um, sadly, because that, once again, seems like a one-time thing in Kalos. Um, yeah, I, I mean, they were very cool, but I just don't see them returning. Now, let's get into this Mega, Groudon, and Kyogre. Are the box art Groudon and, and Kyogre Mega Evolutions? Forms? Mega Evolution concept art subject to change? Um, I honestly want to say it is probably a Mega Evolution. Just because, um, it's just, you know, forms change the Pokemon drastically. You know, Shaman looks nothing like his former self, you know, Gir Giratina. You know, he completely changes, you know, he doesn't have legs anymore, you know, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, you know, these, these are just too small of a change to be a form. And it can't be just Groudon and Kyogre, because we've already proven that some of us, that, um, you know, these are more than Mega Illusions. I mean, more than normal forms, because, you know, these, normal Pokemon, because these are actual... Yeah, you, know, you can you can see changes. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I mean, yeah. Uh, as for uh, Mega Illusions, I'm just gonna say yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna kind of support the theory of it being Mega Illusions that are subject to change. Like it's just art. That's, that's, it's kind of like a placeholder, you know. Uh, you know, how, like GameStop. You know, a game comes out. And, like, okay, you know, they said, like, was it October 31st that X and Y was going to be released? I, but that was just a placeholder until the actual date was released. So, I think that it'd be something like that. You know, they're, they're, they might change it. Um, but, I'm just going to say Mega Illusions to, that, to those two. In fact, um, I saw some, I saw some, I read something where, somewhere that, um, Awata referred to these as new Pokemon. Which was the same thing that they did when um, they talked about Mega Mewtwo and, um, what was it? Oh yeah, Black and White Kyurem. Um, uh, will there be online secret bases and possibly battling in secret bases? And I would love that. I, that would be amazing. That, that has to happen. Uh, will it happen? Probably. I'll say probably. They, they would like, I, I would like them to add a little more online kind of stuff, other than trading and, uh, chatting and, uh, I don't know, uh, what was it, oh yeah, battling, the, um, you know, secret bases, online secret bases, visit each other's secret base, it'd be like, uh, Animal Crossing, you know, visit each other's towns, you know, visit each other's bases, why not? You know, add a little bit of Down Pearl, some underground secret bases, kind of like, stuff into the secret bases and all that. Yeah, secret base exception. Anyway, who is the champion and who will be the Sooth Polis gym leader? Now, this is a very good question. Um, the champion, I am guessing, is Steven since this is a Ruby Sapphire remake, not an Emerald remake. However, as we have seen, with Heart Gold Soul Silver, they had some crystal stuff in Heart Gold Soul Silver, but I just did still see Steven being the champion. Um, uh, as for a Sooth Polis gym leader, probably Wallace, but I could also see Juan actually being the gym leader. Because, you know, not a lot of people like uh, Wallace at all, gym leader or not. I also like to point out that the Omega, um, sim the Greek Omega symbol looks like, um, the Team, Mag Team Magma's logo. And same with Alpha and Aqua. Yeah, I've also seen a... I've also heard a theory about a Team Mag um, team Omega and Team Alpha, but they were applying that if it was indeed a new world. So I don't see them renaming or, you know, whatever, a new team. It's going to be the same team. Um, there's also this theory going around about um, the flooding of the world or drying of the world. And this will be very cool. Okay, so how the theory works is that if, like, mid-game... Team Aqua, I'm just going to use this for example, it also applies to Team Magma, they f they succeed and Kyogre floods the world and so basically you have to go through a new Hoenn, a flooded Hoenn 
and you know there's new Pokemon you can encounter maybe and you know very very cool you know be kind of puzzle because you have to traverse some places that you could no longer traverse and um, you know you couldn't traverse some places and you could traverse some places that you couldn't go to before um, and you know that'd be very very cool same thing with Team Magma and Dry in the world and uh, I just that would be cool however I don't think it will happen and for my final question, will May return? And this is a problem. You see, um, they added, you know, pulling red and blue and green and yellow and all that stuff. Did not have Leaf. It was just a male character, you know, red that you could play as. And then Fire and Leaf Green introduced Leaf and um, Heart Goes to Silver replaced Chris from Gold and Silver and um, Plant. Lyra instead. So, will they continue this pattern with these remakes? Will May get replaced by a new trainer? I'm gonna have to say no. Because May is too popular of a character. You know, she's been in the anime. She's, um, you know, I just, no, I, you know, she's, it's like, Brennan and May are like, like for, for Ruby Sapphire, it's, they're like Mario of Super Smash Bros. It's like, take out Mario, what's the point of Smash Bros? You know, you can't have a Nintendo fighting game without Mario. So, you know, I just don't see them replacing May. They might, but I don't, I don't think they will. I don't think they should, but they might. Uh, so, yeah. So, um, they want to make a lot of money off this game, trust me, and if they replace May, there will be a lot of anger coming from fans. You know, the trumpets may play some wrong notes. <laughs> anyway, um, also, will trumpets return in sound font? I'm gonna say yes, um, just for nostalgia region reasons. GB, GB sounds would be nice too, except, you know, not 8-bit and all that. Anyway, so that'd be very, very cool, and yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this video, I can't wait for this game to come out, this is Photon Blaze, over and out!